Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. Today we're going to be doing my top 10 lip products. I am currently in the middle of a wear test for another item, so I thought that this would be something that is interesting, but also isn't going to require um, too much time, which was interesting because I definitely thought it would be harder to pick out my top 10 than it was. I fairly quickly was like, boop, 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 boop. So I don't know. It almost makes me feel like maybe I should do a declutter, uh, but some of these I do have the same formula in different shades. So that's what I'm going to be doing today, my top 10 lip products. If you're new here, hi, hello, welcome. My name is Megan. Also, if you guys like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. If you like me, if you like makeup, if you like lipstick, mm, let's go. And yeah, let's go ahead and jump into this video. Lighting is a little bit crazy because the sun is starting to come in. Also, hair is a little bit crazy because I haven't styled it. It's just, it's drying. It's doing its own thing. I'm also burning another one of my little candles in the Jackie Ina holiday gift set. This one is sneaky peeky. Smells super yummy. I did order um, a bunch. I think I ordered her whole Valentine's Day collection as well as a replacement of Caked Up. If you're interested in candles, hers are really great. The burn time is really nice. I do prefer the larger ones over the smaller ones just because the larger ones, obviously, they're more fragrant and they fill up a room a lot better than the mini ones. But yeah, uh, anyways, top 10 lippies. So these are not going to be in any particular order. I don't think... I don't think I would, it would really struggle to put them in a particular order. So these are just going to be like top 10 in general and I'm just going to be reaching for them and that's how it's going to go. So one that is newer to my collection is from Kaja. These are their lip glosses and this one is in the shade Pink Drink. I have two of these that I got in their little holiday bundle that they did through Sephora and they're called the, okay, they're called the Glossy Shots. But these are so, so nice. They're really moisturizing. They have a nice amount of pigment. They don't last super long, but when they come off, your lips still feel hydrated and it's nice when you reapply these. So this is one that I really like. This is a newer formula to my collection and it's one that I definitely would pick up more of that formulation. The next lippy that I really love is from By Beauty. These are their Power Move Soft Matte Lipsticks. I have this in three shades. I chose the shade Tamarind though, because if I had to pick, this one is probably my favorite shade. It is just so, so gorgeous. These are really comfortable to wear all day. They have pretty solid lasting power. They reapply over each other easily because it has a soft matte um, texture. It's not like hard or it doesn't like tear up your lips. So it reapplies really nicely throughout the day, which I really like. But yeah, these are good, super comfortable. They have a ton of really gorgeous shades. I'm also just realizing that I did not do my fucking brows. <laughs> ah! <laughs> okay, well, this is what Megan's natural brows look like. And um, she's not gonna, she's not redoing them. We're, we're too, we're too deep in, we're too deep in. Oh man, it's going to bother me. So anyways, the next one is no longer available. Unfortunately, uh, it is from Becca Cosmetics. I'm really sad that they didn't carry over the lipstick because I personally feel if they should have taken anything to Smashbox, it should have been these lippies. This packaging is so nice, heavy weighted and it click goes on super, super nice. I have two shades in this, but the one I wouldn't be able to live without is Dune. So I really, right down here on the bottom, really beautiful, like light peachy shade. It is such a stunning shade in the summer. I wore the shit out of it last summer. It is so, so beautiful. I love it. This formula is so comfortable. Um, I, I won't get into detail because you guys can't get it anymore, but I'm so happy that I have two of those in my collection. The next product is the Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lip. I have two of these as well. This one's in the shade Rose and the shade Rose is newer to me. I also have the shade Coconut. 
but it's this really beautiful pink right here. It's like a your lips but better kind of shade. I really like these because they just melt onto the lips and they truly do make your lips look so juicy. These are also super, super hydrating, easy to reapply. These are so nice to just like keep in your purse or at your work desk. I really like these. I know they had a bundle over the holidays. I don't know if they still do or not, but these are good. They're a little press up. So you just click the bottom and it'll press more product up. I really, really love these. Um, I'm happy that I have them. The next product is from Merit. These are their lip oils. And this one is in the shade Taupe. And this is one beautiful, but two, so, so comfy. This one right here. I love this. It gives my lips the most beautiful dark tint. It's super hydrating. These are really also, these are surprisingly more long wearing. Um, it's definitely one of my favorite tint oil, uh, tinted oils in my collection. I definitely prefer these over the Kosas ones. The Kosas ones kind of were disappointing. Everyone talks really highly of them, but I didn't really enjoy the Kosas uh, lip tints. I have one and I never wear it because I'm just like, eh. But yeah, I really, really love this one. The packaging is so, so cute. And yeah, I just love the shade and I love the wear time and the comfortability definitely a favorite of mine. The next one is the Milani uh, Matte Naked 61. Literally got this at Walmart for like $3 and it's one of my favorite lipsticks ever. It's this really beautiful cool toned pink shade. What I really love about this is that it is comfortable as fuck. It is so so comfortable like and you can reapply it throughout the day and it doesn't create like any kind of build up or break apart or emphasize texture. This one is like one of my favorite lipsticks and it's just like a go-to because I know it's going to be so comfortable throughout the day and it doesn't move all over. It stays in place on your lips. I don't even need a lip liner with this one. Uh, the formula is just so, so good. I really, really love this one from Milani. The next one is from Maybelline, the Lifter Gloss. I know everyone and their mother is obsessed with this, including myself. I have the shade 008, which is also stone. This is actually what I'm wearing today. I've had it on a while though, so the tint's already kind of fading, but this is what the tint looks like. But as you can see, after like a wear, it really just wears down into this beautiful, like hydrated, plumpy looking lip. So that's really what I love about this is that it's hydrating. It makes your lips look plumper, juicier, and just like natural. And these are super affordable as well. So really, really love this product. The next one is a lipstick. This one's from Huda Beauty. And this one is in the shade Sweet Cheeks, which is a really gorgeous uh, pinky nude right here. This formula is also really soft, really comfortable, but it's not runny. It has really nice staying power. It's more of, um, I want to say, I want to go as far to say a glossy finish, but your lips do look a little bit more on the shiny side. So if you don't like that, this isn't a matte, but one, the packaging is so beautiful. These wear really nicely and they are super comfortable. Another one that I really like to reach for just on the daily. We're down to the last two now. And the first one is going to be from Tower 28. It's one of their lip jellies. I finished the purple one that I had and I really, really loved that one. I've got a few in my collection now. And this one is in the shade Almond which is right here. And these are actually fairly opaque. Um, so like to me, sometimes this pulls a little too brown on me because it is so pigmented. Um, I have several other of these. So the formula in general is super, super great. I like this one because it has more of a brown warm tone, which I really enjoy. And then yeah, they just, um, they wear nice. Like they don't, 
You don't get the pigment for that long with these ones, but they hydrate your lips and they look super juicy, which is, you know, what I like. I prefer like a gloss or lip oil or something like that, but that's like just, you know, my preference. I like this sort of lip look. So yeah, really, really enjoy this one in the formulation. Another favorite that I love, love, love. This was actually uh, given to me, well, sent to me from in friend mill from my friend Becca and it quickly it became a fan favorite it is the Tar H2O gloss in the shade coastline and this one right here this is like the most beautiful your lips but better gloss you will ever wear in your entire life at least if you have like my shade of lips like look at that perfect it is so so good it's really comfortable and it looks fucking beautiful i love it this is probably one of my favorite glosses in my collection to be honest but yeah that is it for my top 10 lip products let me know if you have any similar ones in the comments or just let me know what some of your favorites are i have a lot of other formulations and like i said it's interesting that i was able to to pick my favorites like so quickly um makes me feel like I really need to probably reevaluate my collection a little bit but we're working on that have some really exciting stuff coming uh for the first week of February of course there'll be a project pan update and there are some huge updates with that I will also be doing you know my shop my stash update for February I know I got the January one up pretty late but I had some hiccups in that stash, so I will be rotating things out a lot sooner than anticipated. So I will have that up um, as well as, I don't know what I was just thinking there. But yeah, project panning update will be coming soon, and so we'll shop my stash. Oh, and a large declutter will be um, coming up soon as well. So mm, stay tuned for that. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, if you did, be sure to give it a big thumbs up before you leave. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye.